My name is Leo D.E. Johnson. Uh, my pronouns are he, they, and I am a soul rock and roller. I'm a musician. I think even as a kid, I knew on the stage that was a place that I could really tap into my full self. Um, yeah, like when I was a child, school was difficult at times, um, being neurodivergent and um, theater was always a place that I excelled in naturally. Singing was always a place that I felt really cozy and comfortable. So I think, yeah, as a kiddo, I just knew that like, this is a place that I could really be me and express. I really loved expressing even as a child. My mom is an artist and I grew up um, singing in her choir. So I think it just, it was just, just this natural place to, to be. Music and art has helped me in my career journey. Oh, so much so, so much so. I, um, I just now am realizing that music knew I was trans before I had come out. Um, listening back to one of my uh, tracks from, um, dang, I must have wrote this song in 2014 called Do Me Wrong. And in the song, I say, you tried to leave me for another man. And I remember in that moment being like, I'm not gonna change that. Like it felt like I didn't question it. It didn't spark like at the time. It, I didn't. I didn't question it. <laughs> or it just felt right, you know. And it's like these gems that I get to kind of like find of past me being like, hey, <laughs> I see us. I see future us, you know. Um, yeah, music has always been a therapeutic. Uh, it's always been therapeutic for me and a vessel to uplift myself and uplift others. Um, and yeah, because it, it is that for me, it's a place that I can really um, express myself fully. Actually, um, I have an audio in my phone where I'm just jamming and I'm singing this song and then I stop and it's just silent. And then I just say out loud, I think I'm trans. <laughs> and it was just like, it just like washed over me. It was this song that I was writing um, that um, the chorus was, I want to be your lover. I want to be your friend. Anyway, and as I was singing it, I just, you know, the therapy was washing over me. The release was 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 releasing, and uh, yeah, I came out to myself. In the '90s, there was this song uh, by the Philosophers, and it was like, "I'm a man, baby. That's what I am." And in the music video, he wore a skirt, and I remember being like, just really like, "Ooh." Like, I remember being very interested and very like, what's that all about? Like, it just like, it, like it really like something, I don't know if I necessarily was like, I, I'm that person, like that's, that's me. I'm seeing myself being represented as like a, a, an adult, but it really was one of those like core moments of like pre-paving imagining imagining myself in that position and also um the band salt and pepper had a song um what a man what a man what a man what a mighty good man yes and i absolutely loved how hard and soft they were and how like direct you know that song came out when i was such a young guy like i don't i think i had no idea what they were talking about but i could tell i could see the like fluidity within their artistry and their delivery and yeah that was another i would like listen to that song and just like try to find the outfits in my house you know like i, I have a memory of me being in the mirror being like okay i feel like i'm serving this like mask femme moment somewhere down the line i, I told myself that i started to believe that i was un able to be my full self like you know that um, it was wrong for me to be loud uh, there's a stigma that black people are you know scary that so you know throughout the years I, I made myself into to try to make myself fit into a box and yeah I feel like it's really 
these moments right now where I'm starting to really truly believe that like um, that I'm meant to be my full self I'm meant to be my full self I'm meant to be loud I'm meant to be um, passionate and the box that I had been putting myself in is far too small so it's taken me a long time to learn it unlearn it um, but I feel blessed that the lesson has been learned <laughs> and I, I will continue to let it, you know, percolate. What does it mean to be queer, trans, black, non-binary, hmm, mixed? I think it means to me that I have the opportunity to have so much perspective and have the opportunity to um, see the world under so many different lenses. Um, and I'm just so grateful for this experience, honestly, of, of the life that I live, you know? I'm like, I'm, I feel blessed to be queer. I feel blessed to be embodied and to be trans and um, to really go through the experience of um, acceptance and love and self-love and growth and, you know, um, and all of those interact with them, with one another in such a way. It, I, I think it means to me that, um, yeah, I get to live a life that's full of so many different dynamics and, um, a nuance that is unique to just me. There's a picture of me on the fridge there and uh, and yeah, I look at those pictures of me when I was younger and I'm like, oh yeah, that's Leo, that's Leo, you know? Um, and I feel like there was a moment where Leo and you know, past me kind of split off into two different versions and and then somewhere down the line, Leo came back into, into me and yeah, I feel like Leo, little Leo would be like, it took you long enough. General speak to whomever is listening. Whoever needs to hear this, don't doubt yourself. You're perfect. And um, someone just told me this quote. It's a quote from RuPaul said this to Eureka when they were saying, I just feel like I'm too much. And RuPaul said, you're not too much. You're everything. And it warmed my heart. So I want to pass it along to everyone.